Okay, an advanced HIV vaccine trial has been shut down after data showed the shots um, offered only limited protection for women. The J and J vaccine was trialed in Southern Africa. To understand this some more, uh, let's now speak to uh, President of the Medical Research Council, uh, who is uh, Professor Glenda Gray. Uh, Prof, thank you so much for making time. Just tell us more about this experimental HIV vaccine. What protection was it meant to provide against the virus? Sure. So this 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 was supposed to pre we were looking to pre provide at least 50% protection against HIV, and the vaccine showed low protection, around 25%, and this was not enough to proceed with the next stage of the vaccine. So what we will do now is we'll try and understand uh, what were the, what correlated with protection, and to try and understand the immune responses in the women that were protected to try and build a better vaccine for the future. Um, HIV is rampant in, in South Africa. We have high HIV incidences, which means that we need to continue to find an HIV vaccine that will be effective uh, against HIV for women. Mm, all right. So at 25 percent, you felt that um, it's not too effective. What's the outcome of the preliminary analysis of the phase 2B study? So this was a proof of concept phase 2B study. And yeah. um, we were looking to see whether we needed to proceed to the, the, late, the next stage, which, we, which would be to evaluate the durability of the vaccine response. However, because of the low levels of, of protection, um, we did not um, proceed further. Instead, what we will do is, um, is go forward with a, a, an immunological analysis um, mm. of, the, of the study and look at women to see uh, what, what correlated with protection. So this is an important finding because it helps us build a better vaccine for the future. So we we're inching forward slowly. Um, the first vaccine trial I did, we, 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 we didn't, we showed increased susceptibility in men who, who took the vaccine. The second vaccine trial that I did um, showed a flat line with no response. And this is the first time in, in, in a vaccine trial in, in Africa that we, we see a limited response. Not mm. good enough to move forward, but enough to help us develop a next a stage vaccine. Yeah, I mean, that data is going to be in, uh, in, in significant in charting the way forward. Were there any side effects reported um, in this case? Uh, did you, were you able to establish that? This, this vaccine was safe and well tolerated. Um, yeah. It had an adeno 26 backbone. We gave four, four vaccines in one year, very well tolerated, no side effects, no, none of the, none of, no, um, no safety issues, and um, we were very happy with the safety. So a very safe vaccine, but not effective enough. Yeah, and it, it really has been some time, right? 30 years since the virus uh, that causes AIDS was discovered, and we've really come a long way in trying to see how we can find a cure or some form of protection. What insights does this modest efficacy demonstrate? In other words, what scientific data does the study give that could be used in the future uh, on the ongoing pursuit for a vaccine to prevent HIV? Well, it shows us that our non-human primate models were not predictive of protection, so we don't have a good animal model. It also shows us that the, the immune responses that we are inducing in humans is not good enough to protect, and um, we need good neutralizing antibodies. So unlike the COVID vaccines that um, we see high efficacy, um, we see that HIV is a much more formidable pathogen and um, is much harder to conquer, and um, we need to try and induce the kind of immune responses and neutralizing antibody responses that you see in COVID vaccines to be able to try and protect um, against the HIV acquisition. So um, we, what we have learned is that um, the immune responses we induced need to be broader, more potent and more neutralizing in nature. And mm. we have to work to try and find that vaccine in the future.